calling this here beer the Three Out Ale. What you want to do is make sure your plug's all wet before you put it in the outlet. Also want to make sure you get some like random leaves and things in your kettle. All right, so we got this beer recipe from Joshua on Instagram. We asked everybody for recipes. He submitted this. He's from Ann Arbor, Michigan. This is the first beer he ever brewed on his claw hammer system. It's a loose uh, take on a two-hearted ale. Measure it out. Don't touch it. Oh, okay, we're good. Six feet. Six feet. Yeah. Let's check it out. It smells like beer. Mmm. It was pretty good. Yeah, I like that. So you modified the recipe he sent you a bit, just on what you had on hand. Only slightly though. We just used a different um, yeast. All right. My grandpa always used to say, you will never succeed unless you try. Also, make sure to keep your buckets dry. I don't know why he tagged that last part on there, but I've never forgotten it. It is pretty better. Not a way I don't like. Pretty well balanced. Yeah. So to appease all of the haters in their last videos, we're actually gonna tell you what's in this recipe as opposed to just making like an acid trip music video. <laughs> Not a horrible suggestion, I mean, really. That's a good suggestion. 11 pounds of two row, two pounds of Vienna malt, and eight ounces of Crystal 150. All right, so I've got some information here about the grains we're using. Um, this is from a website called What the Government Doesn't Want You To Know About Brewing Malt. Vienna malt is a lightly kilned lager style malt made from quality two-row uh, German spring barley. It produces full-bodied beers with golden color and smooth mouthfeel. Uh, Crystal 150L, also known as Dark Crystal. Man, I think they should just call it Dark Crystal. That's a pretty sweet name. You can expect a dark fruit flavor, such as raisin and plum, with some rich caramel hints as well. Total on this bad boy is $44.54, inclusive of tax. Oh, but Asheville Homebrew gave us a 10% discount, so. That doesn't include like the base malt. So we'll figure that up and we'll get an actual price on this every day, which I think would be cool. So we're up to temp, um, 147 and a half, which is kind of 147.8, 147.9, ooh, 148.0, nailed it. I buy these shirts. Ross designed them. I love them. I bought two for myself. And I just keep bouncing back and forth between red and black. 60 minute mash. Commence. God, it's so hot out here. I was uh, on this website. It's called the, uh, the Unmasked Truth Documents. You would not believe this stuff, it's shocking. Apparently this whole mask thing, according to some people, is just a giant conspiracy by the uh, me mega corporations. Just to get us to just smell our breaths. Realize how bad it smells. Buy more breath mints. All right, mash is done. So like best practice is to clean this right after you're done mashing. Otherwise, you know, it's gonna kinda of cake on there and be more difficult to get off. So the first top edition is actually at 45 minutes, um, which is 15 minutes into the boil. I can kick back, relax, drink more coffee. All right, so the timer just went off for the first top edition, which is this one, one ounce going in. Another ounce of Centennial. I'm going to set my clock at 10 minutes, which is going to be our five minute edition. This is from the website Secret Hop Facts Illuminati. Centennial is incredibly well-rounded and useful for bittering, flavor aroma, and dry hopping. It quickly developed the nickname Super Cascade for its vibrant citrus and soft pine characteristics. 
CTZ has earthy, spicy characteristics that make it an ideal bittering hop for many styles, including IPA, stouts, and even lagers. 60 Mint Boil is complete. Uh, we have to put our last addition in here, flame out addition. That means I'm turning the heat off, flame is out, and then we add the hops. Okay, so hops here, two ounces of Columbus. It is absolutely beautiful out right now. Mowed my lawn while we were getting up to Mash Town. Nice. Perfect time to hang out with some friends, for some beer. So while this is still hot before I add any water, I'm gonna hook the hoses up, the pump and the chiller, circulate through all that. So we have wort that's nice and hot circulating through them to sanitize. So I'm gonna leave this circulate for a minute. We'll just turn this into sort of a little high temp whirlpool edition. Okay, also I'm gonna go ahead and take the hops out now. Okay. Do you follow uh, Brew Anon? I don't even know what that is. It's a 4 is. account. I don't, pretty, pretty I don't, crazy even, know stuff I don't even know what 4 chan is. What's 4chan? It's like 1chan, but 4. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Here's one of the latest brew non drops. The crystal runs deep. The hype is fake, but the beer is real. Where is this? On, this on the internet? Yeah. Where? You're still at AOL dial-up? <laughs> Half an ounce and two and a half gallons of water. We're gonna throw this guy in there. We're gonna get this guy cleaned off. I'm looking at the controller. It's uh, we're at 72 degrees. So two more degrees, and then I'm gonna dump it into here. Cellar Science Premium Beer Yeast. Classic American L strain, famous for its clean, neutral flavor and its ability to be used in any style. Emphasizes malt and hops, attenuates well. say thanks. Thanks to Josh. And if you have a recipe that you think we should brew and you have a claw hammer system and you've brewed it on the claw hammer system and you've dialed it in for that system, send it to us. We're lazy. Yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, we've been watching all right. Mash is done. We've been watching the entire time. If you're still watching, check out check out these Labor Day Labor Day Labor Day Sale Labor Day Sale Live now through Tuesday.